At this opening rally, please come up to the stage. If you're a scheduled speaker in the opening rally, please come up to the stage. And we ask people who are back there, come on to the front. To move up. We're going to start the program. Come up this way. Money for jobs and education, not for war and occupation. Money for jobs and education. Not for war and occupation. Money for jobs and education. Not for war and occupation. We want money for jobs and education. Not for war and occupation. We need money for jobs and education. Not for war and occupation. We need money for jobs and education. Not for war and occupation. Come on up, everybody. In Iraq, Afghanistan, and more drones in the Middle East than there have ever been. And we're here to say bring the troops home, end all occupations. 
from Iraq, Afghanistan, and Palestine and bring the troops home. Our first speaker today is Rebecca Doran. She's a member of Socialist Action and Free Kevin Cooper Committee. Let's give it up for Rebecca Doran. Can everybody hear me? All right, today as we stand in solidarity of the people of the world who are victims of America's wars for profit, more and more people in this country are opening their eyes to another war, and that is the war at home. Where over seven million human beings have been plucked from our communities to become property of the federal or state government. Where over 2.3 million souls are locked in concrete and steel cages and where over 3,500 people await death by lethal injection. Where our sister, Lynn Stewart, who is a human rights attorney and a fellow activist, was stolen from her family and thrown in federal prison for the crime of defending one of her clients who was an Arab and who was deemed by the U.S. government a terrorist. And where Mumia Abu-Jamal was stolen from his community and from his friends and family and thrown on death row and awaits death by lethal injection simply because he committed the crime of being an honest black journalist. Friends, if you'll just take a moment to listen to the voices behind the walls, the walls of the prison, you will hear the people from your communities. You'll hear your own people like Kevin Cooper, Kevin Cooper is an innocent black man on San Quentin's death row who was framed up for a crime that three white men committed. DNA evidence found that Kevin Cooper is innocent as well as eyewitnesses to the crime. And when Kevin's legal team recently went to the, went to the U.S. Supreme Court, they approached the Supreme Court with the question, is a man who was found guilty of murder, but later found to be innocent, still eligible for execution? The U.S. Supreme Court confirmed that he is. That is because we are living in the era of Bill Clinton's anti-terrorism effective death penalty act where one judge actually said, innocence is no defense. Kevin Cooper from his cell on death row wrote a message to us today and I'd like to read a little bit to, it, uh, to you right now. From his cell, Kevin says, war is a state of mind where the us against them mentality takes over. And anyone who doesn't look or speak or act like us is destroyed by the powers that be. War is a rich man's game where everyone who is poor loses no matter what side you're on. And Kevin ends with enough is enough. Stop the wars now. Friends, free Kevin Cooper. Friends, today we have to begin to build a massive anti-war movement that will be capable of mobilizing millions of people that will not only end the wars abroad, but will end this war at home, where we can begin to de-institutionalize our communities and heal each other and tear down every miserable prison in this country. Friends, free Kevin Cooper! Free Mumia Abu-Jamal! Free Lynn Stewart! Free them all! All right, let's hear it for her. Hey, hey, ho, ho, the occupation's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, the occupation has to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, the occupation has to go. All right, our next speaker is Marsha Feinland, and Marsha is representing the Peace and Freedom Party, and she's a candidate for the U.S. Senate for Peace and Freedom. Welcome, Marsha. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you here. I was hoping you would be able to come a little bit closer because I wanted to ask you some questions. I wanted to find out why you're here and what you do. So I'll just have to ask you to kind of shout out. So is anybody here own a bank? No, nobody owns a bank. Anybody an arms dealer, an international arms trader? Jeff, you're an international arms trader? I don't think so. Hmm. Anybody own a hotel? Mm. Own a construction company? How about is anybody a teacher? Yeah. You're a teacher, yeah. how many yeah. teachers are here? Yeah. Woo. Anybody drive a cab? How many people drive a cab? Anybody a uh, carpenter?
carpenter or a, a mason or something like that. We have some carpenters here. We've got working class people here. It's not our war, it's their war. When Kevin Cooper says there's a war mentality and we've got to fight that, he's right, we've got to stop their war mentality because we need our own. We need, we are actually in a class war. The owners, the rulers, the oil company executives, the international bankers, it is their war. It is not our war. All we are is cannon, fight, cannon fodder. All we are is people who sacrifice our tax money, which ought to be going to our education, ought to be going to our public housing, ought to be going